Hi everyone, welcome back. And welcome to this complete end-to-end -end course on building and securing modern REST API using Spring Boot for Spring Security 7, Java 25, JWT, Spring Data JPA and MySQL. Before we dive in, let me start with something important. If you've ever wanted to build real REST API from scratch, if you've ever wanted to understand exactly how backend systems work, if you ever wanted to secure your applications using modern authentication and authorization, then this course is going to change the way you build software. Because here, you are not just watching videos. You are going to build. You are going to practice. You are going to understand every part of API development from fundamentals to CRUD to security to JWT all the way to real world applications like a task manager, a user blog system and a complete banking application. Let's begin with what's inside this course. We start with your development environment. You will install Java 25, IntelliJ IDEA, MySQL Server and Workbench, and Postman. We set everything up step by step so you don't get stuck. Then we move to understanding REST API fundamentals. You will learn what REST really is, the architectural constraints behind it, the meaning of resources and sub-resources, how URIs are structured, how get, post, put and delete work, and how status codes communicate the result of each operation. Once the basics are clear, you will learn how to design REST API the right way. You will understand how to identify resources, how to design clean URLs, how to assign HTTP methods, and how to model JSON request and response structures. After that, we cover REST best practices. You will learn why resources should use plural names, how to use proper headers, when to use sub-resources, and how to choose correct status codes for every situation. Then we go through several important interview concepts like get versus post, post versus put, the difference between put and patch, HTTP versus HTTPS. Once your API fundamentals are strong, we move into real Spring Boot development. You will create your first project, build a Hello World API, return Java objects as JSON, work with path variables, request parameters, post request, put request, delete requests, and handle responses using response entity. Then we begin our first real project, a complete task management application. You will design the task resource, create the architecture, connect MySQL, create entities, repositories, DTO classes, and build API for adding tasks, fetching tasks, updating tasks, deleting tasks, marking tasks complete, and marking them incomplete. Next, we take things further by building REST API for a one-to-many relationship. In this user blog mini project, you will design user API, design post API, understand one-to-many mapping, create entities, repositories, DTO, and build APIs for adding users, updating users, deleting users, creating posts for specific users, fetching posts by user, updating posts, deleting posts, and refactoring your existing APIs to follow clean architecture. Then comes the major project of this course, the banking application. You will design banking requirements, create account operations, connect MySQL, create the account entity, build APIs to add accounts, retrieve accounts, deposit money, withdraw money, fetch all accounts, delete accounts, and use Java record class for DTO. Once the basic operations are ready, we add exception handling. You will understand different kinds of exceptions, how Spring handles them, and how to build a complete centralized exception handling mechanism in the banking application. After that, you will implement the transfer funds feature in multiple steps and then build a full transaction history system. You will log every deposit, every withdrawal and every transfer and you will build API to fetch all transactions for a specific account. Once your backend skills are solid, we move into the most important part of modern backend development. Spring Security 7. You will learn what Spring Security is, how to create a secure project, how default security works, 
how to customize users, how to use basic authentication, how filter chains work and how to apply custom authorization rules. You will also learn role based access control and method level security. Then we connect our application to MySQL and build database authentication. You will create the user and role entities, configure repositories, load users from the database, understand the complete authentication flow and secure your REST API using real credentials. After that, you will learn how exception handling works inside Spring Security. You will create custom handlers for authentication failures and access denied scenarios. Then we build real login and register REST API. You will handle invalid inputs, dynamic role assignment, validation failures and create a clean and secure user registration flow. And finally, we move into JWT. You will learn why basic authentication is not enough, how JWT works, how tokens are created, how they are validated, how requests are filtered and how to modify the login API to return a token that can be used to access protected endpoints. By the end of this course, you will understand everything you need to build and secure real REST API with Spring Boot and Spring Security. I am excited to guide you through this entire journey. Let's begin.